Hey guys, uh, my name is Joel and um, I've been receiving a lot of requests on doing some videos on Android security, right? On how to do pen testing on Android and all of that. So I think in uh, the next few uh, set of videos, I'll be actually talking into um, how I normally pen test an Android app and um, you know the various tools which I use and so on, right? The whole intention of this series is not to uh, educate you about the whole platform, which is the Android, <clears throat> but to actually help you navigate through the various tools, uh, on which tool to use, to do which kind of task, and so on, right? So, uh, maybe let me give you a couple of minutes of overview. Uh, Android is a you know open source uh, framework. You can get a lot of information on this particular link source.android.com right um, it's built on top of Linux right so that's something which is important um, <clears throat> you have um, a lot of uh, versions for Android I would say um, you know I think most of us would have used Android phone so you guys would know it uh, there were uh, different uh, code names given for different versions and uh, there are the API levels as well assigned to each of them and this, uh, this is the latest one which is running which is the Pi and uh, um, so basically Android is open source project which is maintained by Google right and yeah so uh, also the interesting thing here is like you see here the runtime uh, earlier they, they used to have something like a Dalvik uh, virtual machine on the Dalvik kind of a runtime but now it's basically ART right so <clears throat> again you can read up upon this and uh, you know get to know a little more on Android um, also a very interesting link is the you know developers link where you have a lot of information about you know uh, the latest hacks which are done on Android and uh, very educative uh, kind of a um, you know link down here right you can learn a lot from here as well right so um, how does the architecture of uh, Android actually look Right, so the architecture of Android basically has like the four components. I would say the Linux kernel. Um, you know, the I'm gonna leave out the abstraction layer because it's not going to be of major help for me when it comes to from a security point of view. So the Linux kernel. Then we have the libraries. Then you have the application framework, right? The Java API, um, you know, framework, and the last part being the applications, right? So uh, these are some of the important layers of my Android architecture and uh, from a security point since we are doing pen testing and all of that from a security point uh, we need to look at um, uh, two types of securities right one is going to be because it's, bu it's built on Linux it's going to have the kernel security which is basically uh, the similar kind of security which you have in a Linux machine right uh, every single you know resource or every single file on Android basically is gonna be secured and every app which you install on Android will also have a user ID and all of that right pretty much the same how you know uh, security works in a Linux system right then that's like one type of security the other type of security is the app security so the app security uh, basically again relates to the permissions uh, which you're going to define in your Android manifest file right um, let's say you're building an app and you want the app to use the location services or you want the app to use the SMS services so you need to define the permissions for uh, all of this in the Android manifest file and uh, so that, that basically relates to the application security right the kernel security and app security are a couple of uh, important uh, uh, security models which run in parallel you know uh, Android uh, framework right so um, let's uh, now look into um, what do we do next right let's let's uh, look into the permissions part right let's like I said uh, um, um, so the Android applications uh, each uh, it, it basically follows this Linux permissions right just like how you have permissions on a Linux system similarly you're gonna have uh, permissions on um, um, in Android as well Right, so let's actually get our hands dirty and uh, you know look at some of the apps and so on right let's jump into it so what I'm gonna use here is I'm basically gonna use a, uh, 
uh, operating system called as Santoku, which is actually built on Ubuntu, if I'm not wrong. And uh, give me a minute. So let me log into this. So this is a very uh, um, you know it's 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 open source, so I think you can get it as well. Um, right so it's it's open source uh, uh, vm which is generally used for pen testing right so you can download it from here and uh, so this is how it looks um, and i have actually installed this is my vm which means i normally use it for pen testing and uh, uh, i have installed some of the tools well i will not be explaining you how to install the tools because you know you have google for that i'm going to tell you which tool to use when and to do what right uh, the whole uh, uh, logistics around installing the tool and uh, all of that I think it's pretty much uh, it's pretty easy for um, you know anyone with a decent uh, uh, knowledge on operating systems right so let's get started with it so this is my uh, uh, Santoku right VM it's a VM actually on my uh, host system and uh, I'm basically gonna access this uh, from my host machine which is a Mac so let me actually do that let's try to find uh, so let me also yeah right so you can see this particular system is nothing but built on Ubuntu right that's a 64-bit system and uh, now let me try to find the IP address sorry let's do if config 192.168.16.205 right so from now on I'm not gonna use my uh, uh, VM I'm not gonna do any configuration on this I'm gonna directly do a search from my Mac so this is my Mac I'm gonna do uh, Santoku at 192.168. Dot, uh, if I'm not wrong I forgot it's uh, 16.205 right we put in the password there you go so I have the VM ready here uh, yeah and let me go to the desktop of the VM and probably let's go to so I have a folder here which basically has all the resources which I want for doing the tutorial right so I have a bunch of vulnerable apps and so on right so yeah now let me <clears throat> pick up an app right let me pick up an app I think you know that any app when you install it it, it basically comes in a version which has an extension of .apk right so let me pick up this app which is uh, firefox uh, .apk right so this is my app now let, let us look at uh, what does this apk actually mean right so let's do a file on this and try to understand so you can see this I just ran the file command on my apk and it told me that it is basically a zip archive you know kind of a file right isn't it uh, so if it is a zip file, how about we extract it? So let's unzip it. So you do an unzip Firefox APK um, Let's extract it to a folder called Firefox, right? There you go. It's extracting Great, so that's done Let me Look and go, go inside the folder which is Firefox right so yeah, so we've gone inside the folder Firefox now and um, what do we do next? Let's look at the uh, Android manifest file. Let me do ls. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think I've already told you earlier the Android manifest file basically contains all the permissions which the app is going to use, right? It might, the app might use uh, location services, it might use SMS services and so on and it, all of those are going to be defined here. So if I'm trying to uh, pen test an app the first thing I would want to look is what kind of app permissions the app is using so now like a layman I would obviously go and try to read this file right there you go I tried to read it and it was all junk I'm not able to read anything from here so this is of no use for me right right so that's of no use so how do we read it and that's where we use a tool called apk tool right yeah so that's where we use a tool called apk tool so how do we use the apk tool uh, let me actually come back yeah 
so um, apk tool basically helps us to either decompile or compile right in my case i want to decompile because i already have my firefox uh, in fact i can like delete this firefox folder right and um, what i want to do now is let me uh, decompile the apk uh, uh, the dot apk which i had um, so that i can uh, actually read the manifesto so i'm going to use my apk tool here apk tool i'm going to put the uh, the file which is firefox.apk right that's still happening we're still using the apk tool yeah so i think that's done give me a minute okay yes so yeah so i'm uh, uh, so let's look at what has happened so we have the folder created again let's go inside firefox this time let's do uh, ls and here you go we have the android manifest file created again now will we be able to read this let's see that there you go we are able to see right so uh, now from this uh, particular file you can understand all the various permissions which the app is using um, you know and um, you, you get to know uh, kind of like you get to know what the app is trying to do and what services it's trying to use right so this would be like a first step, you know, I would say when you start pen testing an app. Um, so I will pause this video. I will stop this video at this point and we will take it from here in the next video. Thank you.